Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today I want to share with you a brand new minor Ice Wizard Control deck that's absolutely destroying right now in Clash Royale 3.4. Average Electric Cost, Minor Ice Wizard, Wallbreaker deck. It is an extremely defensive strategy with the Bomb Tower, the NATO, the Valkyrie, the Ice Wizard, and the Rocket in there. But I found it on Royale API today. It's been used for roughly like 700 battles recently in Clash Royale, so fairly new into the meta. But it currently has just about a 60% win rate. When I saw that, I'm like, you know what? This looks pretty good. And the highest... The highest trophy player with this deck was at like almost 7,400 trophies in Ultimate Champion League with this deck. So I was like, you know what? If you can get that high, maybe I'll have a chance. So we we'll go Valkyrie here for the Moiner. Obviously, it's going to be a minor deck. Mr. Snake. Whoa. The question is, ooh. It's a spicy little uh, Night Witch there. The question is, what does he got for this? Log? Log, log, log. There it goes. We're going to get our Bomb Tower here. The Bomb Tower will kill the Night Witch first. Which then means we got to get the, um, the NATO down here to kill his bats. Which then allow the Goblins to stab that tower. And then the Miner here will tank uh, for one Goblin. Because the other ones will die. Huh. I like how that, that Goblin kind of went uh, the long way around. But we're going to get an Ice Wizzy down here for the Miner coming in here. And then we're going to do Valkyrie here. For this witch, because the bomb tower is not enough health, it will die to that. Uh, you can fisherman that way all you want, but hopefully the wallbreakers get through anyways. One, two, nice. The wallbreakers are pretty nasty, man. They're pretty nasty. And I'm thinking about going goblins here for this fisherman. Get some ice busy chip damage there, left lane. Nothing too substantial, but definitely isn't uh, nothing at all. I mean, it was what 300 damage. It's okay. It's all right. I'm hoping he goes Witch here. Ah, he went. He went the Giant. He went the Giant. That's not what I wanted. I, was, I wanted a Witch for uh, Rocket Value. Also, guys, I do want to uh, briefly or quickly apologize to you guys about my extremely late uploads today and yesterday. They've been both very, very, very late uploads today, even worse than yesterday. Uh, life has just been crazy, crazy, crazy on my end. So, um, I know that's no excuse, but I, I just do want to say sorry, guys, for that. Hopefully, we'll get back to the regular schedule here soon. Uh, but yeah, I do want to just briefly apologize to you guys for that, Jazz. It is uh, not cool. So I do I do apologize. Hey, don't zap my wall breaker. Don't zap my wall breaky. Yeah, nub. And that fisherman was freaking insane, dude. Y'all see that fisher guy? Y'all see that fisher dude? In, in Shane, man. Come on. Activate our King Tower with the Natal there. King Tower activation successful. Mission Miner commence. Miner hits the tower. And he logs back that. And the Miner finishes the tower off. Whoa, 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 sir. You're getting a bit crazy right now. And I don't, I, I don't agree with it. I can speak right now. <laughs> Good game, Snake. Good game, man. So... Moral of the story, guys, is I'm sorry for missing the for being late with the uploads recently. Um, oh, it's just been life's just been busy, man. Life's been busy. You know how it is. For those of you guys that don't know, I have a son. He's 15, 16 months old now, and uh, my wife recently went back to work, so I'm uh, taking care of him now full time and doing YouTube full time. And it's just uh, it's just crazy, man. It's just busy. So. Valkyrie here, two for four trade, two for three now with the skeletons added in, plus the knight equals an extra uh, elixir for me. Let's go bomb tower here, waste one elixir in the process, then rocket this uh, knight uh, explanation. Exp explanation. <laughs> I was going to say rocket this knight expo combination, but I said explanation. What a nub. This is going to suck. This is going to suck. This is going to be a long battle. Freaking expo, man. Freaking expo. Gotta love the expo. And by love it, I mean just don't. Don't love it. Oh. One of these. I don't like that exchange, but whatever. It is what it is, dude. It is what it is, man. Skeleton's there. 
Nice. A bomb tower here for this. Hmm. Now we just rocket this. Yeah, this is why I don't like this exchange, guys. Look at this. Boom. There we go. This is going to be a really sucky battle. <laughs> this is going to suck. Oh, man. Because we just, the thing is, we keep rocketing his, uh, his expo. But that basically leaves us with nothing for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm thinking about going... Ooh, I hate these fire spits, man. Annoying, dude. What you got, what you got, what you got for that, huh? Anything for me? Anything can't you see? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yikes, dude. Go, Wahlbergers, go. Oh, we missed the freaking... Oh, no, we missed the rocket, guys. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose now. I missed the rocket. How? Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm such a no. Guys, you saw nothing, okay? You saw nothing. Do not comment anything, please. I want no comments in the comment section saying anything about that rocket. Can you guys do me a favor? Can you guys please do me that favor, that one favor? I don't think it's too much to ask for you guys for one favor. No comments in the comment section about that rocket, please. Please. Just nothing. That would make me very, very, very happy if y'all could respect that. Nothing about that rocket there, please, dudes. Nothing, please. Uh, guys, how much damage did we take from that expo? <laughs> I'm so sad. Oh, man. Oh, we missed the freaking fire spits as well, dude. GG's, man. How did I miss that? If I see one comment, guys, if I see one comment. All right, let's keep her going, guys. Let's keep her going over here. We're gonna pretend that battle never happened. Right? You guys saw nothing, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yo, Team Azgeta. Please don't have the expo. Seeing the baby D in there makes me not believe he's got expo, which is good for me. Always a good day when that happens. Alright, so the Barbarian by itself is not too much of a threat. However, the Ice Wizard with it is. Got a free spell in there. Hmm. What do y'all suspect he's going to do now? Bola? Mega Knight. Ooh, a Valkyrie is even worse. -er -er. And the NATO activating the King Tower is even worse. -er -er -er. Alright, so... Let's go bomb tower for that Valkyrie. They go uh, wall breakers here. He just goes bar barrel, which I guess is something okay. Bar barrel here. Tombstone, actually. I'm actually okay with that. It's a three for two trade. Aussie of extra trades all day long, baby. Goblins here, forcing on Ice Wizzy. One of these. One of these. And one of these. He's got poison in here. Alright. How do we feel about that poison, dudes? What's the verdict on that poisonage? Huh? Minor minions here. He's gonna go Valkyrie right there. Oh, that cane tower activation finishing off that one wall breaker. That sucks, dude. That's some major yikes. I suppose he's here for that uh, Valkyrie. Alrighty. Huh. Kind of an interesting play there, isn't it? This should hit the baby D, right? Are you freaking kidding me today? We missed another one? And another one. <laughs> How did I miss another one, dudes? I'm so sad. I'm so sad, guys. This is so sad. This is so sad, guys. Nice. Come on. Here we go. One of these, one of these. Come on, baby. 
Go, Goblins, go. Come on. Nice, there we go, there we go. Come on, baby. Nadal's it. I'm actually okay with that. I'm actually okay with that. Not terrible. Nice, thank you. He does get the poison value there, but we kill the baby D. Which is alright. The biggest threat here is that constant influx of skeletons in the right. Which is annoying, to say the least. Boom. There we go. This down here. Bomb tower down here. Nice, dude, nice. This here, this here. Come on, baby. Get us back here. Come on, dude, come on. You got it, you got it, Shane. You got this, dude. You can put, and you can do anything you set your mind to, Shane. Including win this battle here. Including win this battle here, dudes. Right? Including winning this battle, guys. Mine are here, please. Yes, we won. <laughs> oh, man, that was insane. Wow. That was alright, right? That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I'm pretty happy with that, dude. Alright, guys, you know what time it is right now. It is time for the final live battle of the evening. I'm gonna go wall breakers to start here. Wish our friends some good luck. The Gonzu. And he's gonna nail that back for a positive one exchange in my behalf. Which we are definitely okay with right now. We're gonna go minor goblins here to punish that uh, NATO. He's gonna promptly log it back or baby D it. Which means we'll get a few stabs to his tower there. Getting over 1100 damage done in the process. Valkyrie here for this graveyard. If he freezes us, we are dead. If he does not freeze us, we should be good. Nice. Ooh, I'm okay with that. Let's go Wallbreakers here with a minor in the pocket. Very, very, very aggressive play. But that's the way we prefer it, guys. That Wallbreaker still gets a shot off? Man, the Wallbreakers are one of the most busted cards in the game right now, hands down. There's no way that Wallbreaker should get shot off, guys, at, at one health. There's no way, Jose. Zero ways, man. All right, Bomb Tower here. We'll destroy the, both the Bomber and the Ice Wizzy. Nice, there we go. So we're we're doing okay, I guess. The problem is these stupid um, tombstones. Oof! If I, if I if I was more confident in my abilities with the uh, with the what do you call it? With the rocket, I would have rocketed right there, but I am not confident at all, dude. Look at this. We got the bowler, but not the baby D, which sucks immensely. Kill that bowler, please. What are you doing, tower? Don't talk about the skeletons. They aren't the threat, you nub. So the tombstone might actually come back in the meta, guys. It's actually a decent choice of, of a counter versus the, uh, the wall breakers. I'm finding. Especially if, if, if your opponent does not have poison in their deck, like I don't, then it's really, really good. Nice, there we go. Come on, baby. Hit that book. Thank you. Go ready for this. Now we can kill that tombstone with the ice wizard. Get it down fairly low, at least. Bomb tower here, please. Hmm. The tombstone is what's bothering me right now, guys. I'm having a hard time getting past it. There we go, nice. Go minor chip cycle right here. Do I activate the king tower there? Yep. I'm okay with that though. I'm trying to get some work done there. Valkyrie here destroys that. One of these right here. The wall breakers go. Oh man, that wall breaker. I cannot believe that wall breaker just got through, guys. 
That wall breaker, one health? Are you joking? They're so busted right now. They're so busted. Wow. All right, guys, go ahead here. Finish the video off with two replays as we usually do. Uh, I just realized that last battle also, the guy's clan name was Dreamers, and he was spamming the, the yawning emote at the end. So maybe not coincidental there. Maybe he was just very, very tired because he wanted to go back to sleep so he could dream. You know what I'm saying? That was lame. That was very, very lame. Should I leave that in or should I edit that out? <laughs> Anyways, we're facing off against a Minor Balloon Witch Cycle deck. We almost get some Wall Breakers to tower there, guys. But uh, they do die at the very, very last second, which is very surprising. Because most of the time they do get there, guys. Most of the time they get there. But anyways, going to go Valkyrie here for that Witch. Getting pretty good value, uh, taking her down as well. And then I think we actually go... He goes Balloon here, right lane. Now, I could have Rocketed that... But the rocket by itself does not destroy it, and I didn't have Nato yet in cycle. So I'm going to go Nato here, pull the balloon away from my tower, and then the Ice Wizard towers finish it off right there. He does, however, get death damage there, which is not ideal. I could have probably pulled it in a different direction to deny death damage. So definitely a bit of a misplay on my behalf right there. But regardless, we are going to go with a... What do we do here? Minor... Minor wall breakers here left lane. And then we're going to go... Boom, boom, with the wall breakers to the bomb tower. Honestly, even though he went bomb tower and the wall breakers didn't connect there, bomb tower is four elixir, wall breakers are two. So if he has to go bomb tower every time to defend against the wall breakers, I'm making two elixir every single time, which is huge, right? It's huge. That's one of the reasons why the wall breakers are so busted right now is you can never defend them for an efficient exchange. Like, if only if they go wall breakers at the bridge by themselves, then you can obviously log it or like spell it. But if they have wall breakers behind a tank, like there's no efficient way. That's one of the reasons why Mega Knight's so popular right now. Is you can drop Mega Knight directly on top of them and destroy all of them. But that's like that's your only choice, right? That's one of the reasons why they're so busted. There's just there's such a limited amount of ways to answer them right now. Anyways, the Beluga Star Tower right lane, which is very unfortunate, because to get some work done. We're gonna go wall breakers here on the right, destroying that uh, bomb tower. Meanwhile, the minor ice wizard combination left lane. Getting some decent damage done to his tower. Gonna go Ice Wizard here for the bats. Goblins predict the minor drop right there. And we take zero damage done. Meanwhile, tower left lane is now down to 1300 health, courtesy of the Ice Wizard. Now, gonna go minor wall breakers Valkyrie here. Once again, we get four elixir from that bomb tower, which is a huge positive trade for us. And uh, we get the Valkyrie out as well, which is even more positive trades. Bomb Tower here will actually pull the Balloon if he goes Balloon and kills that uh, Witch right there. So definitely okay uh, placement there. Now once again, defending the right lane. Goblins for the Miner. Valkyrie for the Ice Wizard. Uh, balloon going to get pulled over by one more Bomb Tower here. And I believe he's almost within the Rocket range. So all we need is a Rocket or some Wall Breakers or a Miner. But take a look here on the right lane, guys. Look at this. Goblins connecting. Valkyrie connecting. Miner, Rocket, left lane. The Tower on the right actually goes down first to the goblins before the tower on the left did. So, honestly, very surprised to see how much damage those goblins did. But overall, GG's, man. GG's. All right, guys, this one replay here, the last replay, the only reason I'm throwing it in here is his deck is absolutely absurd. I have no idea how he made it or where it came from. But uh, it's like a, a random, like, assortment of cards thrown together that I, I don't know. Anyways, uh, we're going to go Rocket here for the princess. Very risky move because obviously it's a negative three exchange. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he says GG here. And thanks. So I'm not too sure if he's trying to BM me right now for, uh, for rocketing his princess. Obviously, the, the witch would have been better value, but we don't have rocket in our hand right now. Bomb tower going down, taking care of that witch with the Inferno D coming in as well, getting some work done. Now, I'm going to use the Ice Wizard here, not only to kill the Inferno D, but also pulls it within range of that bomb tower. The bomb destroys the Inferno D. Ice Wizard survives now, destroys the Lumberjack, and uh, we're looking pretty good here so far. Like, like I said before, guys, this deck is absolutely insane. Mini P.E.K.K.A. Wall, or Mini P.E.K.K.A. Lumberjack, Witch, Infernal Dragon, Princess. Like, very, just not really seeing a whole lot of synergy <laughs> in his deck there. Uh, he fireballs the, the Wall Breakers, surprisingly, when he had Zap in hand. But the Miner does predict the, uh, the Miner drop there, destroying it pretty quickly. Now we're going to go Valkyrie here for that Mini P.E.K.K.A. with a Ice Wizard, I believe, or nothing. The plot thickens. What do I do? I think we just go Ice Wizard here for the Infernal D. Is what I do. Honestly, I have no idea what his deck is. It's so random. Like, it's, it's so random. Like, it looks like they hit the random button. <laughs> but, 
He doesn't even have a Wigan in there besides the princess. And it was gonna go goblins here. The goblins actually get suppressed and look at this. One stab in the princess, despite everything going their way. So absolutely insane. I'm gonna go bomb tower here for the princess, guys. Offensive bomb tower for the win. And now we're back to minor and some wall breaker. So you know what we're doing right now, guys. It's minor wall breaker time right here on the left lane. Because that bomb tower is, is, is gonna destroy the right lane anyways. So uh don't have to worry about that. The goblin gang gets absolutely destroyed by the wall breakers right there. Bring that tower down to 1,000 health. Honestly, if I were to nerf the wall breakers, here's what I would do. I would roll back all of the previous buffs they got before they were made to Elixir. If you remember, they changed the wall breakers so that their first attack was faster, aka their, their explosion was faster when it got to the tower. Like it feels like they like they just barely touched the tower and explode immediately. Kind of like kind of like how the balloon you know how the balloon, like, the balloon attacks as soon as it touches there? Whereas things like Giant, you know, Giant gets out there and then they have to, they have to punch, right? There's like, kind of like a wind-up time. Whereas Balloon, like, they get there and it's like, boom, bomb, boom, bomb, right? Wall Breakers, they were buffed a while ago to immediately explode whenever they got to a tower. Before that, they got there and there was, like, a bit of an animation of them, like, raising the bomb and then exploding. So I think they should undo that buff. And they should also undo the buff where they increase their explosion radius because they destroy everything your opponent uses on defense. I think they should uh, roll back both of those buffs to see how the wall breakers do afterwards. Um, and uh, maybe a slight health decrease as well to give you more options to defend them when they are behind a tank. But uh, yeah, anyways guys, GG's man, GG's. Anyways guys, that is the end of the video. Here is the deck one more time. If you want to go ahead and try it out yourself, like I said before, guys, I found it on Royale API, as you can see over here. And uh, it currently has a sp just under a 60% win rate. I am rounding up. But it's been used for almost 800 battles recently in Clash Royale, so it's still relatively new into the meta. But I wanted to kind of bring it to you guys' attention in case you like these kind of decks. But the highest player ever has been recorded at almost 7,400 trophies with this deck. Uh, inside of Ultimate Champion League. So uh, definitely a very, very interesting deck right here, guys. Give it a shot. Let me know how it goes for you. But guys, that is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe to some Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching. We shall see you in the next one.